Hi. So today I'm going to show how to uh, set up Google app platform connecting to a Docker hub repo. So uh, it's not necessarily it has to be the repo has to be on Docker hub. It can be on any container registry like uh, Google container registry or DigitalOcean container registry. Uh, so uh, this is uh, Google app DigitalOcean. So if you look at this, DigitalOcean has got something known as app platform, which is a server into which we cannot have access to, I mean, which we cannot have SSH access to. It's just a server which contains our code, which where we can link any GitHub repo or a Docker repo uh, directly to app platform and it'll run automatically. It'll, it'll detect the or app platform will detect what kind of application the repo is and it will uh, do the needful to run that application. So uh, let me log in. I'm already logged in, I think. So on the left hand side, you can see app platform. And uh, so you can launch about anything uh, on app platform, you can like link to a GitHub, GitLab and digital container ocean, uh, digital ocean container registry, Docker hub or GitHub container registry. So today we are going to show you how to uh, connect it to a Docker hub uh, repo. So before that, let me show you what uh, Docker hub repo I'm going to uh, connect it to quick chart. So it's called quick chart. It's and this is a uh, uh, and graphing library where the images where the graph is an image and not uh, JavaScript or CSS space. Uh, this is very important because if you want to embed a chart uh, into a PDF, you need to have an image rather than a JavaScript based uh, picture or a graph uh, chart. So if you look at this, if I right click and if I like open the image a new tab, you will find that it is hosted on quickjart.io and chart is the endpoint and it has all of these parameters like background is equal to white then C is equal to uh, type is equal to bar and lab data labels legends uh, and all of these uh, information is there inside uh, the URL itself and the application is outputting uh, just spilling out spitting out an image. So it's a very simple application. I mean, it's not that uh, simple or maybe because the guy who created it is an ex employee of Google and Google had a service called Google image charts, which they shut down a couple of years back uh, for some reason. And so right now, if you want to create charts on Google, you have to use Google charts, which is JavaScript based. And uh, there is no other way to uh, have an image based chart. So this is open source. So they have a pricing tier of $40 a month to be hosted on quickchart.io where you can have like 1 million chart requests per month. So that's all probably like very good if you're able to shell out $40 a month. But if you have a small project or a hobby project or a less traffic uh, website, which is not going to hit 1 million charts per month, you can download the open source version. The, the whole open source, the whole code is there on GitHub. It is based on Node.js and uh, they have like a uh, uh, Docker Hub repository. It's called INW slash quick chart. So let me just copy this. Uh, I'm not going to like run any commands in the terminal because a uh, digital app platform is everything uh, is everything uh, UI based and you just need to link it to uh, a repository. It can be a GitHub repository also, but I'm not showing how to connect to rep GitHub repository in this video. I'm just showing how to connect to a Git, uh, Docker Hub repository. So here we do create app and so we have the repository name, I'm just pasting it, which I copied from the browser. And this is latest, like inf that image tag is latest. Credentials is not required because it's a public repository. We have to, we need credentials only if it is a pri private repository. Next, uh, we leave the resource name as it is. Web service, we'll change it because this is like currently $12 a month. And we probably don't want to spend that much. So we'll use $5 a month. And yeah, so containers also we'll need. So that is, uh, I think you cannot, increase number of containers in the lowest uh, plan. So anyway, for the for most basic use, probably like 10,000 image requests per day, this is more than enough and it will work flawlessly. Uh, so only thing we need to check is a port. The internal port, uh, it runs on server th 3400. 
so we have to change that to 3400 uh, when when we load it to the browser it will be on port 80 but on the internally it has to be on it is by default 3400 which will be mapped to port 80 once it is launched so save back next next i am leaving bangalore as the default region because i'm located in mumbai so uh, you choose you can choose if you want to change it to any other location you can do that so next and uh, create resources now it is getting deployed by building the uh, docker uh, setup this may take a while in. so So you have like you can log into the console um, once it is set up. Uh, so you have runtime activity. You have a couple of uh, other insights uh, regarding this console. Let me see whether you can actually log in. So yeah, so you can log into the console. Okay, I thought you couldn't. Do, you cannot do SSH, but yeah. So it is like uh, just you can log into the console where you can just see the uh, project directory. So anyway, so overview, now let us see where is the yeah, live app. Now if I click here, it is showing a quick chart is running, you are using quick, so this is what it's showing. And you can like, let us say quick chart IO and we have an example chart gallery. So let us say I want this chart, right? Uh, okay, so chart, no, let, let me get back to this and let's say I want this chart and I right click open a new tab and it shows, but this is host on quick chart, quick chart .io. If I wanted, if I wanted to see, if I want to see the chart on the domain, the app that I just now created, which is on this domain, which digital app, digital ocean created for us. I just need to replace quick chart .io, uh, with this. Uh, so this is double HTTPS. Oh, oh there's one more uh, two. See now the chart got uh, rendered from the DigitalOcean app that that is on my account. So and you, you can also uh, have uh, a custom domain with the settings. So if I wanted to have it on something like, you know, I don't know, like charts.anjanesh.in, uh, I can uh, probably like, you. if I manage the DNS, then we have to add a C name. But uh, if you have your own domain for this, then you can might as well uh, use Google, I mean, uh, DigitalOcean's DNS management system. So I'm just going to cancel this. This is something that I assume is fairly simple to set up. I am not uh, showing this here because that requires you to log into the domain control panel. So uh, let's see the default, like, so the default uh, text is here. Now let us see whether we can actually edit this inside the Docker. Uh, so if you have, where did this go? So ls minus l, anyhow. Uh, I hope this video is useful to you. You can uh, create your own charts on your own DigitalOcean app link. And yeah, so that's about it for my first video. Bye-bye.